Welcome to Chrome Tutorials. In this video, we are going to see that how can we enable or disable the plugins in Google Chrome. So first of all, what are plugins? Plugins are the features that are added to Chrome as per our requirements and they help us to serve a variety of purposes. So what are these purposes? These purposes could be simple ones like displaying images, playing videos. Like earlier, we used to have Flash onto our system so that we can uh, download any of the multimedia content such as videos, images, or maybe even play games. But with the advent of technology, that plugin has become obsolete. So still there are some plugins which we may want to use onto a Chrome browser. In this video, we are going to see exactly that. So without any further ado, let's just dive right into the tutorial. The tutorial is pretty simple. You gotta open your Chrome browser, then click on these three dots and go to settings option. Now in the settings option, you will find privacy and security on the left hand side panel. Just click on that. In this privacy and security, we have a bunch of options. So we need to go to site settings. As you read on it, it will say that controls what information sites can use and show like location, camera, pop-ups and more. So let's just click onto this and just scroll down until you find content. Now in this content, whatever we are finding over here are actually the plugins like the JavaScript plugin that is currently being used by my Chrome browser. Apart from this, there is no other plugin that is being used. So if you want to enable a particular plugin or disable it, how do you do? You just select that plugin click on that and then this is the default behavior option so you will see that by default sites can use the javascript that means this plugin is enabled if you want to disable it just click on the second um, button that is don't allow sites to use javascript apart from that if you just want specific sites to use javascript then what you can do you can just add those sites and allow to use javascript by clicking on this add button if you want to uh, stop some sites from using JavaScript then there is this option not allowed to use JavaScript you can add sites into that so if you just click on this add option you are supposed to add the name of the site suppose I add www.google.com and click on this add button so what will happen google.com will not be allowed to use JavaScript anymore onto my Chrome browser now if I just open www.google.com let's see what happens you see this is how it is opening because it is not allowed to use javascript anymore onto my browser so it is a very simple thing that is getting opened or uh, actually uh, the difference would be in the validation and everything so if you just search for anything let's say tech so here you can see this kind of a message is there Please click here, you are redirected in a few seconds. That is something we don't see normally. And why is that? Because JavaScript is there, so the requests don't get processed directly to the server. Uh, the JavaScript actually acts on this. Since we have disabled JavaScript, so we are getting this option. Now to get out of this issue, what we can do, we can just click on these three dots, uh, remove this Google site from here. So now Google is not there anymore. Again, we can go to the same site, www.google.com. Here, what we can do, uh, we can just type in our um, tech the same Google search and you can see the results are loaded pretty much faster this is because now JavaScript is acting and on the client side only on my browser only the results are being fetched that's why the latency has been dropped so this is uh, how you can test the plugins you can actually enable and disable the plugins in the Chrome browser that's all for this video thanks for watching